How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Tazaskar and welcome back to Timberborn. It can only be Timberborn, I'm having such a blast with this game. So, last time out we had a little bit of a panic with our dam. Now, I think the problem we have is, let me... So technically the bottom dam would be like, if we turn it away, I think would technically be like one up. So if we move the dam to 0.5... And we can actually see it go up, which is actually really, really cool. The dam works. Okay, it pulls through here. Okay, we all agree that works. So, so far, it's okay. So, first of all, I'm going to have a little play with this dam, have a little bit of fun. And then what else we're going to do with this um, episode is get some more potatoes over here so we can start doing potatoes. Probably getting a few more trees. Now, we don't know if we're going to be able to achieve this. Sorry, I was so excited to play with that dam. We'll come back. Um, I would also like to come over to this ruins, which we'll probably have to make another district for, is my understanding. Um, because then eventually we can move to dynamite, and then we can have some real good fun. Anyway, back to my enjoyment of playing with this dam. So, if we move the height to one, if I click synchronize... Right, there we go. We can also see the grass up here is starting to fertilize. Okay, so currently we're absolutely fine. The dam is working as intended. We can also see what we've created back here is a bit of a deeper water, which is actually really, really good for us. So you can see a lot. Oh, okay, so the water level is actually really high up now. We haven't got our... We are trying to build a water indicator so we can see. Oh, there we go. Now we can see everything spewing over. So if we don't sort this quick, then we're going to have a problem. So we'll do it to 0 0.5. Keep it in escape by accident, my bad. So we are trying to build there a level indicator. All right, so that should have sorted the water. Fingers crossed. See the unfertile grass coming out. Should sort it up. There we go. And then we stop all that. So we still hold some water in here. Not as much as what I thought. But this is the fun of this game working out. We're trying to understand the physics and whatnot. And having a good time with it. Eventually we're probably going to build a super dam up here. Because you can see there's lots to block. However before we even think about doing that. We will need a dam over here. Because otherwise it's going to flood absolutely everything. But it's really going to unleash us in the map. And then we can build another super dam over here or something like that. Anyway, getting back to the task in hand. So we have some really, really happy beavers. I imagine we can see it over here. Yes, we can. Top left hand corner. The green number eight. So we can tell our beavers are happy, happy boys and girls. Let's go and speed through as we go through story time. So, woods went from something that we weren't even concerned about to something that's actually, like, really a pain in my bum now. I'm just keeping an eye on the water level, just because every now and then it rises and makes me feel really uneasy, I'm not going to lie. We can get rid of that, we can get loads of potatoes down here. And I would like to then grill the potatoes. We can see our little rooftop terrace, loving it, loving it, loving it. And we did build some stairs up here, allowing us to then put some wood cutting stations up here. Because at the moment, we're just really stretched for wood. So I'll put two up there, actually. We don't actually have the workers for that. I thought I left us on where we had loads of um, free workers. I imagine there's loads of woodcutters that are just bored sitting around. So if that's the case, I'll just tell them to um, pause and then they'll go somewhere else. So there... They're all working. All right, so we've got loads of beavers up here. Imagine you're sitting around, because actually we ain't got the storage room for any more berries. So we have got 360 storage points. We could get a large warehouse for 250 points, which I actually think we're going to do. And it is a big... It is a big... Won't be able to go over there. I suppose... Let's 
trying to think of like a nice placement for it. I actually think here is actually fine. So I'll go here and this is going to be the new ferry place because actually... Um, right, and then I want them to empty that warehouse so then I can get rid of that. Perhaps put the potatoes down there to keep the grills together because we're going to get another grill probably on this side. So if we can keep all the cooking and all this sort of stuff together, I think that's actually going to be really, really good for us. And look pretty, like, let's be honest, that's what we're mainly worried about. Uh, Beavers-wise, we've got 31, so that's quite nice. There we go, there we go. So now when we can click this, we can actually see the water level, which is very, very nice. I thought Mega Dam would be able to hold the water a bit better. I don't know if it's actually... ...being actually worth the resources, perhaps being negative okay so we're getting to the point now where loads of trees are now ready to cut down these are going to bring two wood a piece these are going to bring eight wood a piece and this is what we want we want this um di different trees growing at different times giving us different amounts so then hopefully that material is always always coming in berries there the berry workers are still there the woodcutters Nothing to do in range. But what I'm going to do is pause all three of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then let's start making a path all the way down here. Something like that would be fine. Actually pause. There we go. We will need a district down here. Try and do that this episode. You know me, party people. I do like to get carried away. But then at least then we've got a path down to here. Because we are going to need them glorious resources very, very quickly. Right. We actually have all the space over here to begin our potato growing. Which is going to be very, very nice. Just to keep everyone, you know, happy. Happy beaver is a good beaver. Giggity. If I do potatoes down like that, then I'll bring a path down here just to make it look all pretty and whatnot. And then I'm wondering, do we get a forester down here? We could eventually get water up here. I'm just sort of seeing where the water links up. So it is underground ruins there. We're going to have to be careful when we flood this river. We don't ineffectively flood our base we will need planning for it sort of going forward i would like some more trees down here in all honesty like you'd think we'd have enough at this point but we really don't i think for the time being we could start blue no blueberries i'd like just to continue over here we'll probably get rid of these trees and just fill with blueberries because this actually works really nicely these double spots together other than that i actually think all in all, we're actually moving with, like, crazy progress. It's more just sort of keeping up. Um, the thing is, I do want to build super dam. I just want to build all the super dams. This one here, I'm a bit disappointed. It hasn't worked as intended. I wish I could move it to, like... Because the problem is, is the bottom dam is totally blocking. Yeah. Power output is only 30 horsepower on this one. I wonder if it's because this is taking up. But to be fair, we have so many planks, it's actually crazy at this point. Uh, so has this been emptied? This has been emptied and all the berries. Look at that. That's a full warehouse there, party people. I have to admit, visually, I find it so awesome to have these boxes and whatnot. Like I said it once, I said it again. I really enjoy that. What we're then going to keep in here is potatoes. And then we'll put a grill there. Uh, 
There we go. Can I put the... Where's the decoration? Oh, no, I can put... Oh, that's actually quite cool. So we've got a decoration that's just a shrub, but we can put that there so it doesn't look like totally out of place. So that's actually quite cool. And then this grill will be doing grilled potatoes. Uh, I am going to swap. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, I know they can't path to it. Is here I'd like the grilled spatter dock so it's closer to here. Here I would like the raw resources potatoes. This is currently doing carrots, so I might just get another storage. Have we got carrots across here? We have. I'll just get another storage. Let me just quite sort this out. So this is going to be spatter dock. This is going to be cooked or grilled spatter dock. This is currently crack, um, carrots, but I'd like it to be grilled potatoes. And then what I will do is storage. An underground pile must be built on the ground. Oh, we need a thousand resources. I'm looking. Oh, no, that's not even for. Just. Totally ignore me. I've lost the plot. We could just build one up here for the carrots. How are we getting up here? So I could build. I'm just trying to think how we're going to do the ladders up. Put that there. And that is going to be for the uh, carrots. Probably once. I'm going to cancel that. I actually think with the amount of carrots, we probably actually want a big stockpile. And I'm actually going to chuck it there. Eventually. I'll bring that there for the time being. But then this is going to be the carrots. And I like carrots. And I like storing a lot of blueberry and carrots. Because they're just raw resources. Or the, I suppose the better way I should say that. Is because they're resources that once they're out of the ground. They can just be eaten straight away. So having loads of them is pretty much just our like pure backup food. So I don't actually mind. That is gone. Didn't see how many planks it wants. Jeez, but it does store. Was that 1,100? So food-wise, we are rocking. I suppose the next thing we really need to look at is actually the water supply. It's the only thing that we're not giving the due diligence maybe it deserves. Uh, we currently have one vacancy. So we could actually... What's going on? Waiting for previous stock. Oh, okay, so they're waiting for a lot of stuff to happen there. No workers in this district. Um, I'll pause these two berry bushes. Or at least one. So one will keep picking berries. Now they've got the space in the stockpile. They'll continue to do that. So that's fine. And then we are going to need some more houses. So let's see how I can do this with the paths. Triple platform would cost 200 science. Because if we want more houses, that's what we're sort of going to have to do here. This complex is... Um... Gotten a bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. I suppose we because the problem is obviously we need to come back on top of ourselves. And I don't know if I want to waste the science on that yet. If we come up here. Oh, we currently have one free bed. To be fair to us. Planks have totally gone now. Which is awkward to say the least. It might be worth putting a dam in here, you know. To just make sure the water in here holds differently. Because if the water drains out here, obviously we're losing a lot of fertile grass. I suppose it doesn't matter too much because we're not right over here. Right. Logs, now we're at 150 odd. Now we're actually smashing it. 
Thinking about putting a forester's place over here. It'd let us grow trees here, here, and eventually up here. So if I go to wood, a forester's place. So I don't know how we're going to get any of this fertile. Or if we're even going to be able to, in all honesty. But the problem is, we're like purposely then going to have to start flooding the land. Which is going to take a lot of planning and whatnot to be doing. We need this up. As we can see, we still need a lot of uh, planks. Oh, no, no, only four more to be fair to us. To be fair to us. And then everything will start moving, grills will start cooking, and we're going to start living the dream, party people. Living the dream. Just out of curiosity, on top of here, can we put grills? It's too far away from a distance. Yeah, we can. We can actually put grills up here. That's actually really, really cool. So eventually, we're probably going to want stockpiles like that for everything. Should be very, very nice. All right, should we have a look at what else? Because we need to be moving to dynamite at some point. So I wonder if this is the time to set up a district down here and see how that all works. So this is totally like... So pause. I'd like a district center. Districts must be separated by district crossing. Oh, it's only 600 science. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for that to be queued up. Which is fine. We have no free beds now. We have one vacancy. So maybe we might do another housing complex. Perhaps over here. We go housing. Pause. I'll do something incredibly similar to what I just did. Yeah, I'm going to do them close like this. No, I'm going to do it far away. I was, I was going to do a different design. want that left because stockpiles can still go down there. Oh, there we go. Do the pathing down here. And then we can potentially use this to come up as well. To be fair, we could probably just bring these houses down. At the moment, that will do. So that's a lot of, lot of housing, obviously, we're bringing in. So we are going to have to be careful. The water is the next thing that we're probably going to have to tackle. So we could get a medium tank for 120 points, which actually I think I'm going to do now. I'm going to have to make a little bit of room for it somewhere. So what I'm probably going to do... So let me, how big is this? So it looks like a two by two. So one could go there, one could go there. This only store 30, yeah, get rid. I'm just going to destroy them out of the bat and then just hope we don't get punished by um anything. So that'll be one, that'll be two. It's fine for the time being. It's actually, these hold nothing. Really nothing. So what I'm what mm, this is no. I was about to delete these ones because I can get one here and then there could just be another oak tree that goes there, but I don't want to get rid of all our water storage because knowing my luck, then a drought will hit and then we'll like dehydrate to death, which I'll assure you, party people, does not sound good whatsoever. Are you serious? Does not sound like what I call a good time. Woodcutters over here. Yeah, we've got loads of logs coming in now. Loads of everything. There we go. We can see carrots are in here. Berries are in here. The grill should be going. Building is being empty. Does not accept new goods. That's absolutely fine. Beavers coming in here. We have two beavers that are bored. So I will allow this other berry bush over here. Because then that will just keep hauling in here. We've got the food to 
hold more beavers, so I see no reason not to. That's all been sorted, so now we can get... I rotate one water tank, two water tanks, which is looking much better. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Water wires. Yeah, because you can get water pumps and stuff like that, so I wonder if there's some way to, like, fill this up with water. We are going to move to Mega Dam. I think the priority is to move towards dynamite, because I think that's going to then... I suppose, yeah, then we can start blowing up stuff. However that works, that's going to be a fun little time for us. I suppose... Where can this forester go? We need a forest over here. And the reason why we want a forest over here is so then... Might be a better idea... Is then we can control where the berry bushes are and what. Plants, trees, and bushes. How far does the farmhouse come down? How are we doing for potatoes? Not actually that hot, so actually what I am going to do is actually plant a load more potatoes. I can't see if it's in the zone, so it just needs to come over one more. And then get some potatoes over there. That's all out of the zone, so I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of the path, just so I remember. There we have it. That beaver over there is utterly bored. So I will destroy his building. See you later. Go get another job. Look, props. I will get some more spatter docks. This side. We will keep an eye just in case it's blocks, power, or anything like that. I'm a bit conscious that that. Pause. Don't build up there because we'll want another power wheel. I'm conscious that I've seen that be really slow this episode and start to grind to a hole, especially now. So I do wonder if there's something we can do to force the water into it a little bit better. So this isn't good enough, is it? Just not working. That's very odd. Landscaping. Yeah, like dynamite destroys the block of terrain underneath it. Because if you see the flow of the water, you can see it's sort of missing this wheel altogether and it's getting sucked down here. Hmm. Oh, our beavers are happier than ever! I'm proud of you. We've got 11, so that means we will actually unlock the other faction at some point. Wood is a problem of the past, isn't it? Right, science buildings, what more do we want? So we have Observatory, which gives us that's 10 science, which is really good. Refinery, we can't get yet. And a bot assembler. So the, the Observatory is a 1,000 points. I'll tell you what isn't a 1,000 points. The di oh, the district's quite... Well, we, uh, I thought it was 500. I was like, oh, we get the district. Because the new district is basically like the new building here. It means you can do everything you need to do in these areas. But we'd like to make another one down here, so then there's like another settlement, technically. I'm hoping they can still share food and whatnot. It does sound like that should be a thing. We might have to play with the river a little bit here. I wonder if I can do something here. So I want to turn off synchronize because I want to move these floodgates, wondering if I can force the water push that to one just for a curiosity we have got a drought funny enough that worked 
just to see. So this was at one. This is working. I'm going to put it down. So it's now dropped and it's stopped working. Oh no. I wonder it. No, is it? It's about to stop. I think that wind, the water mill is just like messing with me, right? So this is the first time we're going to get a flood and we're actually going to see this in operation. So I'm very curious how this is actually going to go and if this is going to work as intended. Like everything else, I'm actually happy we're on point, we're doing well, we're just trying to save up the science points which ain't going to be too long. Got 35 beavers and 13 kids. So everyone's loving life. They're just having a good time. And who wouldn't with these, like, complexes that we've got here? Just glorious. Got places for them to chill up here. Have a good time up here. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That I love. I absolutely love. We need gears. Oh no, I hope this is not going to be a problem. I did not know. We need gears. This is where I realise... What do we need to make gears? Need to get that up. Yeah, I've misplayed that. Uh... I need to do this in such a way because I would like the power wheels to come off to be able to join it. But the positioning here is a little bit more awkward than what I realise. So what if I build... So if I just pause... So I could build one there and one there and bring the path over. It's an excuse to build another wheel for more power anyway. Entrance. Hmm. Didn't really think about this, did I? Could do that. I'm gonna do this, because how I can do this, and this is why I love the game, because it encourages a bit of... I can build a platform there, and then build it off the platform. So the platform's been built. Yeah, I keep watching that power. Go wood. Build the gears there. So then all I would have to do, this is going to turn off all the power, is get rid of that one. And put a four-way split so it goes into there as well. We are going to need a stockpile for gears. So I'll get that in, click this, pause. No gears? Is it in the other stock bar, is it? Probably should read before I click stuff. Like, who would have thought? That's a good idea. Reading first. I've heard you say that 162 times. Medium warehouse. Medium warehouse? Apparently. So I'll put that there. So gears will be stocked in there, which will be absolutely fine. The power's gone down, but that's just while we wait for that power shaft to go in. Uh, a little bit nervous about... This next drought, I'll be honest. As the droughts get more intense. I go decorations. I can build a shrub there and pretend that was always meant to be like that. <laughs> 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 it's the perfect crime. Look, look, I can start putting like shrubs everywhere. About to hit the drought. Get rid of that. It's all part of the plan. See, all part of the plan. So no, I don't actually think I can. Oh no, the beavers can get to it from there. Cool, cool, cool. I keep forgetting they can actually go in the water and whatnot. Right, power's off for the time being. Can they actually get to that spot? No, they can't actually get to it. So what I'm going to have to do is 
get rid of that two resources. Get rid of that and build a stairs up there. It's a bit awkward, but it's fine. And then we can leave that there because we're always going to have to change this, sadly. To be fair, the placement of this building is actually shocking. And I should have built it over here. The drought has started. Okay, so this is the first time we see our dam. So let's pause. What are we holding at? We're holding at 0 0.5. Hasn't really done anything, has it? I wonder if instead of put what have we got at the bottom? We got levees, haven't we? I wonder if we want levees at the top and not dams. Because I know that's what we've got over here. A dam blocks the water but allows some to spill over. Hmm. It's damn interesting. Because, yeah, we're not actually blocking water up here. So I wonder if maybe. I'll do a little bit of research, but I wonder if we want levees to block. Because the problem is, I think the water's spilling over, like, just the whole thing. But yeah, at the moment, actually, this dam is doing nothing. Hmm. I have to admit, I do like the physics and whatnot of the water. It's a very um, interesting thing to then have to figure out and whatnot. Now, let's go wooden stairs there so we can get up there. And then that can get fixed. These buildings can turn back on. Fingers crossed. Over 200 woods, party people. But we have got the science to get our district. So next time, we can get a new district. Start getting some metal beams. Start having an even better time. Yes, I said it here first. An even better time. And I'll sort out that stockpile because there's obviously something wrong. I'll just move this. Yeah. See, look, everything's fine. We're starting to get faster. Oh, no. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. Now, catch you next time, party people. Bye.